It's time to see how this fits on the board. Let's see if this fits well. Wow, it's perfect. Look, it's dead. Okay, I checked the, the, the max temperatures. This must work well until between minus 40 degrees Celsius and uh, uh, plus 105 degrees. Uh, degrees Celsius So I go try soldering soldering this uh, with that temperatures let's go is with this uh, the, the motherboard to prepare for soldering This is the part when I move out all what I don't need. In first step, I go use some solder paste. This is the solder paste I go use. I don't want to melt everything. I just want to melt little pieces of the time. This is my tip. Whoa, this is huge. Solder paste. On the data sheet of this connector, they they suggest an 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 solder paste with the te base temperature, the mean temperature for for pre heat is 150 and the reflux temperature is 250 okay a bit of pre heat
I'm using good 260 degree in 60 degrees 260 degrees and I just up the power pre the, the wind pre the air pressure and the, and change the nozzle as you can see I don't have sure I'm not sure if if this is soldered but on the other time this, this seems to be soldered but when I move it the, this just go apart let's see hello I'm back at this point I already finished the board and I already cleaned the board with, with the spray and now it's, it's drying this take a while to dry or to evaporate and this is what I got we have here some we have here some flux not very well cleaned but the most important for me is not short in the in these pins this is why I clean up it's working everything looks like fine and nice close and open is is well melted there and there now this is the step when I start to reboot Rebuild the tablet. All right. This is all the tablet parts. Oh man, these tablets, these tablets are being a pain in the ass. Now I go assembly all the all the boards, and after that I go place the. The screen and to the end I go place the battery and test the battery. Let's start rebuild re this. 